Hello, this is Marcus Davis at Integrella. Welcome to this screencast where we're going to demonstrate how to perform a simple XML transformation in TIBCO Designer. This video is part of our Enterprise Integration Architect series aimed at integration architects, managers and business leaders embarking on a TIBCO project, but it may also be useful for developers getting started with TIBCO Designer. So as I said, in this um, exercise we're going to create a simple XML transformation and in this uh, process we're going to read in an XML file in one format and map that through into another XML data structure and we're going to write that back out to the file system. Just to save some time I've pre-created um, a couple of um, XML schemas. The first one is a, a bond trade XSD and um, let's let's just pretend that the source system is a front office trading application and that the target system is a back office settlement system. So in this bond trade message, you know, we have some uh, fields that you'd expect to see like a, a trade date, a trade ID, a nominal and issue price and so on. And in the bond settlement XSD, we've got a subset of some of those fields that we're going to use to do some data mapping. I've also uh, pre-created an input test message which is um, a simple XML bond trade message based on the bond trade XSD and uh, also just to save some time for you yourselves I've um, I've uh, made these available for you on our website which is integrella.com and also on our SOA portal which is portal.integrella.com so let's get started so just to keep things nice and tidy, I normally create my um, process definitions underneath a business process folder here. And so let's just create a, a folder to start with. And we're going to call that XML transform. Now inside here, we're going to add a process definition. So over to the process palette and process definition. And again, I'm going to call this XML transform process. Apply, save, and by double clicking on that, that opens up the canvas. And this is where we um, set up all of our activities that we're going to need. So by right clicking on the canvas I'm going to add a few of these um, resources or activities. Um, first of all I'm going to use a, a read file activity. I'm going to set up a write file activity as well to write the file to the settlement system. And we're going to use on the XML palette we're going to use a parse XML activity and a render XML activity as well. So now they're on the canvas, I'm just going to uh, create some transition lines in between these activities. And then we can configure them in more detail. So let's just rename this to read trade file. It's already set up um, to read as text. And in here we're going to set up the um, target uh, directory and file name that it's going to read from. So I've actually pre-created a test data directory and this is the input directory. And so I've also entered the name of the file which is bond001.xml and now we're going to parse the XML file that we've read in into the bond trade XML data structure. Now to keep things uh, simple for this exercise I'm just going to set the input style to text that kind of also makes it easier for debugging later on as well 
as the input, I'm going to use the payload of the message that we've read in. So apply that change, and always good to validate these activities as you're going along as well. And in the output editor uh, tab here, we're going to need to set the XSD that it's going to use. So let's look up the on trade XSD. And uh, I'm going to select the root node of on trade. And now in the render XML activity, we're going to do some mappings. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to set the output style to text again and the encoding type to be UTF 8. As the input to this, I'm going to use the bond settlement XSD. So let's select XML element reference. And again, we're going to look up that XSD. I know that the root node is bond settlement, so I've just selected that there. And in the input section, this is where we're able to do some mappings. So I'm going to map the settlement date through to the settlement date element and the issue price over to amount and the receiving counterparty is going to be counterparty and I'm just going to map the currency straight through so I'm going to apply that change and validate again now this time we're going to write the file to the settlement system So I'm just going to name that accordingly. And as the input to that file, I'm just going to set the output directory path and also the file name that we're going to use. So again, I've, I've pre-created an output folder here. And the output file I'm going to call settlement.xml. Obviously we're going to have to set the contents of that and that's going to be the payload of the render XML activity. This is the more marshalled uh, message. So let's validate that again and save the project. And now we're actually ready to, to test this uh, process end to end. So for that we're going to go to the um, tester tab and actually run the job. So let's click on that and you can either load selected or load and start current, it doesn't really matter. So there you go, it's running the process and it looks green, green is good, that means it's run successfully. So if things have worked out well I should have an output file here which I have and I'm just going to open that so you can have a look at it and it has actually mapped the fields that I wanted it to. So just a, a couple of quick notes before we finish up. The, um, the activities here um, in the tester will actually show you the data that was sent through, so it's worth noting that. And also, um, it's worth noting that each of these activities could throw a number of different errors so if it's not able to write to the file system for example or it's not able to read the file or um, for some reason it couldn't actually unmarshal the data structure and we've not done any exception handling in here at all um, and that's because we're actually going to cover that in a, a later exercise so thanks very much for listening and if you have any feedback please do get in touch with us through the portal.